Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which would consist of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song in these latter days, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the men, women, and children of Israel, which may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson and Lord willing, uh, touch on this article uh, that the beloved brothers and myself uh, yesterday at camp, you know, we briefly touched on uh, regarding um the situation that's going on over there with uh, Gaza um, and Israel. And, uh, you know, yeah, man, we're in a time of war. You know, we're in a time where, you know, World War III is at the door. And, uh, you know, there's uproars of the people and a lot of skirmishes taking place uh, right, at, right, at, right about now, along with uh, um, a lot of other biblical uh, events, you know, such as earthquakes in diverse places, uh, you know, pestilences you know there's a new um you know there's a new variant on the rise and uh yeah man the rumors of war is, is speaking volumes we know that uh you know we know the MOTB you know the mark of the BEAST um has to come into fruition first you know but we're seeing these uh war drums being beat Okay, we're in a time where, you know, the rumors spoken of in Jeremiah uh, 51, all right, it's taking place, man. The rumors of war. As a matter of fact, let's start there through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Let's start here in the book of Jeremiah real quick. Chapter 51. And verse 46. As a matter of fact, Verse 45, and it reads, My people, who are the Lord's people? Israel, a so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true biblical Israelites. All right, not those small hats, those Amalekites, those big-nosed people, all right, those nickel hats, all right, those culture vultures, you know, those bastards that are dwelling in Ashdod in our land this very moment. No, not them, but our so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man, we're the true biblical Israelites. Okay, and the Lord said, My people, go ye out of the midst of her, of who? Babylon. Okay, Babylon, the place where uh, <laughs> catastrophic judgment is pending, man. Mystery Babylon the Great, aka America. Right? And deliver ye every man his soul. From the fierce anger of the Lord, Yahweh. And does this mean that you take off? Right? You take off to uh, uh, Bangladesh <laughs> and hide out uh, under the ground somewhere? No, man. The way, we're gonna, the way we are going to get out of the midst of Babylon is by returning to our power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. If you are part of the elect, you will be offered... That divine protection, that hedge of protection, that divine guidance and, 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 and uh, safeguard. You see? Obedience is what's going to allow us to have that hedge of protection in these days to come. You know, the questions often asked, you know, by individuals who are on the highways and byways uh, regarding all. Oh, if, if Babylon is going to be destroyed, how are you going to, how, aren't you here? You see, but these people don't realize 
that those of the elect are going to escape. Okay, those missiles that are created for the wicked. Whether it be you being a martyr or you being beamed up into a chariot. The elect of the nation of Israel are going to, is, are, they're going to escape the judgment that's written for Babylon the Great. Right, let's continue on. Unless your heart faint, right? Unless your mind faint, right? That word heart in the Hebrew is law, which is your mind. See? And ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor, right? And there's been talk of World War, World War III for, for a while now, you know? And, you know, as of late, it has become more evident that, you know, World War III is inevitable. It's just a matter of time, you know, before this, this thing boils over into a nuclear, a thermonuclear fallout, man. And violence in the land, ruler against ruler. See, so it's going to go from rumors to rulers against rulers, man. It's inevitable. And when you get this word rumor, real quick. Rumor. Rumor, a currently circulating story or report of uncertain or doubtful truth. Now watch this. Isn't World War Three circulating right about now? We're about to go into an article <laughs> regarding it now. One of many, right? Similar words, gossip, hearsay, right? Talk, right? The word on the street. You see that? Speculation, information, right? The buzz, look at buzz, news. All right? This is what's being talked about right about now. See, this is the report that World War III is at the door. You see, as it reads in um, Revelations 9, going into World War One and Two, Revelations 11, man, let's go there real quick. And then let's grab this article. Revelations 11. And 14, it reads, the second war was passed, right? The second world's war is passed, right? And behold, the third woe, right? The third world's war cometh quickly. And we have an article here from uh, Natural News dated uh, October uh, 20th, 2023. And the title reads, World War Three, right? If Israel follows through, with Gaza ground invasion, Iran promises huge earthquake attack by Hezbollah. <laughs> you see? And uh, the Hezbollah, I believe that's a, uh, a Lebanese uh, political party, if I'm, if I'm correct, as a matter of fact. Khan, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's this Lebanese uh, Shia Islamist political party, right? Led since 1992 by the Secretary General Hassan. So, yeah. So you see, now you have to think if Iran steps in, right, on behalf of Gaza, Mystery Babylon the Great, America is going to step in on behalf of Israel. And what's that going to cause? The bear. Russia to step in for Iran. You see, so we see this thing is right at the door and see how it mentions a, a huge earthquake attack? It's because they have that earth cre earthquake creating technology. I believe it's called an oscillator, if, I, if I'm correct. You see, they have that technology, man. As a matter of fact, matter of fact we, can, we can look into that real quick. Let's read into this article real quick first. Right? If Israel follows through with its planned ground invasion of Gaza, 
in the coming days. Then Hezbollah will retaliate with a huge earthquake attack. <laughs> you see? Promised Iranian foreigner, or Salaki, a foreign minister, Hussein Amir Abdullahian, this week. You see? And again, they have this technology, man. Check this out. Let's check this out real quick. Um, let's see if we can get this. They test this oscillator. There you have it. Right? Test this oscillator. Uh, it's an electromechanical oscillator. Right? Check this out. Tesla's electromechanical oscillator is a steam-powered electric generator, right? Patented by Nikola Tesla, right, in 1893. All right, later in life, so like it, later in life, Tesla claimed one version of the oscillator caused an earthquake in New York City in, in 1898, gaining, its, gaining it the popular culture title, Tesla's Earthquake Machine. You see, what you're going to find out, this individual, Nikola Tesla, he's a he's an Edomite. All right. But more specifically, he's a Temanite. All right. Because check this out. Um, he's a German. Now, check this out. Uh, pronounced July 10th. Uh, was a was a Serbian American. All right. Inventor. Right, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and futurist, best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current electricity supply system. Now check this out. Um, imagine Austrian Empire. You see that? This is where he was born. Those are Germans. See that? Hey, Austrian Empire, German. Okay. See, so this man was a Temanite. And we know Teman, all right, is behind these uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction, man. You see, they're the wiser of the Edomites. You see? And it's no surprise that this man is behind creating the earthquake device that you know Evil E's using, man. <laughs> you know he's using that. Hey, it's wide open in this in this uh article that they have it too. Hey, scripture says that knowledge shall increase in the latter days. You see? Hey, Iran has that technology too. That's why they they're, they're threatening to retaliate with a huge earthquake, man. Because they have that, they have a form, they have an oscillator too. You see, these are the times we're living in, man. Evil, man. Evil times. See, let's get a little bit more of this article. In a public warning, Amr Abdullahian put Israel on notice that Iran does not intend to sit idly by while Israel defense forces, the IDF soldiers, invade the Gaza Strip and continue their slaughter of innocents while claiming to only be after Hamas targets. See, so that covering cast has been lifted off of the people, man. You see, the people are not buying into, um, you know, the shenanigans of Esau Edom, man. You see, they can see through this man now. You see, they know this man is a demon, a deceiver, a liar, right? A bloodthirsty cave animal, right? Iran says it does not want any further escalation of war, but that it will, inv that it will get involved. If Israel proceeds with its ground invasion as planned. So you see, this is we're looking at the build up to World War Three right now, man. These are rumors, okay, that we're looking at that we're uh, hearing about, man. This article is a form of a rumor. You see? Let's get a little more. The fighting between Hamas and Israel will turn into a regional war. See that? If Iran gets involved either directly or indirectly, such as through a militant group in Syria 
or by ha or by backing any Hezbollah decision to fully join the fighting, reports Axios about the matter. Okay, see, so this is where we are, man. All right, things are heating up in the east. <laughs> the Valley of Yahweh Shapat. All right, and this is all part of biblical prophecy. You see? If Iran gets involved, Babylon's going to get involved. You see? Them small hats, okay? <laughs> Are gonna draw out Babylon, man, through their pride and pursuing uh, that Gaza Strip, man. If that's the case, if they pursue it, you see. But either way, these tensions that are going on over there in the east, they're not gonna die down. We're just looking at the process of a buildup to the Third World's War. You see, and if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you know this. You see, let's go here. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 49. And verse 20, and it reads, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he hath taken against Edom and his purpose that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman, man, which are the Germans, and that's the spirit. Because <laughs> here it is, uh, Nicholas uh, Tesla, he's a German uh, engineer, man. He's behind that earthquake machine, okay, that Iran's threatening to use. See how their sword is falling upon themselves? Let's continue on. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. And the least of the flock is Israel. And they're going to draw who out? Babylon. You see, America's going to be drawn out to battle because of Israel, man. Right? Surely he shall make the inhabitants desolate with them. See, so they're going to fail all together, man, ultimately. See, these things have to take place in efforts to fulfill biblical prophecy, man. You see? Let's get a little more. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall, man, right? Because them ICBM missiles are going to fly. There's going to be a thermonuclear fallout. Right? At the cry, the at, at the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea, man. See, Revelations 18 goes into what? Thus by violence should that great city Babylon be, be taken down, man. Roughly paraphrasing. By violence, man. This is how Yahweh Bashimi al is going to do it. You see? <laughs> and he's using the blessing of evil E to execute it. That's why when you go here, we can close out right here. Revelation 6, chapter 6 and verse 4, and it reads, And there went out another horse that was red, right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, we take a glance back into the time. When you look into Genesis 25 and 25, it tells you that Esau came out red all over, man. You see, which would be your uh, so-called white man. You see, and there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat there on. And who gave him that power? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Job 9 and 24. To take peace from the earth. This is what he was built to do. Esau's wired. To do evil. This is part of his genetic makeup. This is why he was blessed with the sword. But as it said, as they say in the world, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, man. You see, and ultimately the sword, which are those missiles in its perfection, are gonna be used to turn this place into a lake of fire. That you can read about in Revelations chapter 19, chapter 20, and chapter 21. And that they should kill one another. And there was given, see? And that they should kill one another. They did that during the time of these civil wars, right? 
these previous world wars. And they're going to do it again in this third world war, man. And you're going to have Edomite go up, come up against Edomite. <laughs> Russia against Babylon. I'm all, it's all Edomites, man. You see the whole EU set up? That's all Edomites. See? And there was given unto him a great sword, you see? So this is how we know, man. <laughs> Evil E is going to fall upon his own sword. As a matter of fact, let me see. I think I got one more. Let me see if this is what I want. Isaiah 25. No, it's uh, Job. I believe it's Job. Let me see something real quick. Let me see if I can find this real quick. If I can't, we'll close out. I believe this is what I want. You know what? I think I know where it's at. Job 5, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Let me try one more spot. As a matter of fact, let me do this. The Wadi Yahweh Bashan Shai. Why was I thinking that was Job? Psalms 37. See? Hey, the Wadi Yahweh Bashan Shai. Let's see what I let's see if we want to start up here. Yeah, we do. Let's start at verse uh Let's start at verse 14. Psalms 37 and 14, it reads, The wicked, and we know who the wicked is. Pursuing you uh Job 9 and 24, right? Malachi 1 and 4, right? Psalms 37 and 14, the wicked. Have drawn out the sword. Remember, this devil's been blessed with the sword. That's his. That's his uh, blessing, right? With the sword is a uh, modern day gun, right? To a, all the way to an ICBM missile and everything in between that this man has weaponized. You see, food. He's weaponized food. He's turned food into a sword. Water, the air. Okay, the wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow. To cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Yeah, you see this man's uh, throwing pawns out there, agents, right? Trying to uh, frame the men of the Lord for being DTs and being linked to uh, uh, these uh, Islamic uh, TE, uh, you know, you know, trying to link Jake to that. But in reality, we're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the God of the Bible and his only begotten son. But Esau is trying to slander us, man, and snare us. This is why he's coined as a fowler, okay, a bird catcher in the scriptures, man. <laughs> but as it says in Proverbs, the first chapter, surely in vain is the trap set, all right, in the sight of the bird, man. See, we see this man's tricks. And we see what he's laying out before us, man. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he won't be able to snare us. See? Let's continue on. Let's read this again from the top. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. And us talking about this glorious gospel, this everlasting gospel, right? Teaching our people repentance and righteousness. Hey, this upright conversation, hey, this is something that Esau hates. See? He hateth him that rebuketh in the gate, man. You hey, when we hey this man understands that if we if we return back to our power and obedience, we have a hedge of protection. 
He doesn't want that. This is why he's going to try to silence this word, man. But it's going to be to no prevail. Why? Let's continue on. Their sword, Psalms 37 and 15, their sword shall enter into their own heart. And their bows shall be broken. You see? Evil E, his blessing, his own blessing. Okay? It's going to lead him to his destruction. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwedash. Shalom.